The Alliance for Change today said it had nothing to do with the Agricola protest, but rather what erupted in the East Bank Demerara village was the result of provocative statements by Dr. Roger Luncheon, who resorted to singing in his support of the government's hardline position that it will not get rid of Home Affairs Minister Clement Rohi. You want me to sing, we shall not be moved? Okay, we shall not, we shall not be moved. That singing response from Dr. Luncheon, the AFC said, tantalized a village already angry at the shooting death of one of its young men, Shaquille Grant, and the fact that two of the three policemen charged with the murder cannot be found. Uh, the, the mother of, of Shaquille Grant actually gave a press statement in which she said that the reason for the protest was the statement made by Dr. Luncheon. And a matter of fact, I think her exact words, I think Demerara waves uh, carried them, she said, Mr. Luncheon needs to apologize to this nation. We are now in the process of seeking justice for Shaquille, and when it looks as if something is going to happen, so when he come out and say something like that, it's total disrespect. She went on to say if he's ready to rumble, she also is ready to rumble. That the attempt of Roger Luncheon with a slack jaw, again, to incite people to violence, is really, really putting this nation at risk. The party's leader, Kamraj Ramjatan, was outraged that the Attorney General Anil Nandlal and the Presidential Advisor on Governance, Gil Teixeira, would accuse the AFC of spearheading the protest at Agricola. What Gil Teixeira and Anil Nandlal did last night was rotten and despicable. And coming from an Attorney General and one who is supposed to be an expert in good governance, to twist this whole thing and to give it the aura that it is the Alliance for Change set of terrorists doing it. It is utterly outrageous and something that I hope that people are not going to believe. In fact, the AFC went as far as suggesting that the ruling People's Progressive Party was trying to play the race card to frighten its supporters back into its fold. They could use these instances of people being robbed and flights being uh, rescheduled to say, you see, what the AFC has caused. In fact, the AFC went as far as suggesting that the ruling People's Progressive Party was trying to play the race card to frighten its supporters back into its fold. With the National Assembly passing a no-confidence motion in the Minister of Home Affairs over two months now, the AFC is sticking to its demand for him to go. It is clear that the Ghana Police Force failed to change any of their standard operating procedures or their rules of engagement since Johansi Douglas. They have been under the charge of Minister Rohi for an extended period. He has done nothing to change and therefore he is responsible for everything that happens insofar as the police fail to follow rules of engagement and execute citizens. We want to reaffirm here as a matter of principle, Rohi must go. that Rohi must go. must go, and that the government is in contempt of the parliament every single day that they retain Rohi as Minister of Home Affairs. FC Chairman Nigel Hughes said that the Ghana Police Force needs structural changes, and with gains made in prosecuting those believed responsible for recent deaths of civilians, he has called for citizens to remain calm and ensure justice for all.